The governor general of the two island nations says he's in Baltimore to help create better ties with Johns Hopkins to offer better health care for the people of his country, especially after the catastrophic storm. This is all that's left of the small Caribbean island of Barbuda. Earlier this month, the region taking a pounding from Hurricane Irma. The prime minister saying the island is barely habitable. Be patient, we're going to get you all out. For storm survivors, the days following Irma were both physically and emotionally challenging. We're not coping. We're definitely not coping. All of the residents were eventually evacuated, and now for the first time in 300 years, the island is vacant. A number of people now living on neighboring Antigua. Thursday, the governor general of Antigua and Barbuda stopped by Baltimore to talk about the nation's plight and how he hopes one local institution can help. Dr. Sir Rodney Williams speaking at the University of Maryland, Baltimore. Of course, the problem now lies with how we rebuild. Williams discussing the current reality for many after the storm. Hurricane Irma devastated Barbuda, and we had to evacuate all the Barbudans over to Antigua. And so you have to put programs in place to deal with that situation. The governor general telling WJZ he's hopeful the nation will rebuild stronger than before. Also hopeful Johns Hopkins will lend a hand when it comes to health care. We're hoping to be able to have exchanges of physicians, of medical students, of technicians, and have um, access to the quality, the high quality of service which Johns Hopkins offers. Williams says a lot of Barbudans are eager to return home, but there's really no telling when that may be a possibility. Reporting George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News.